Turn our attention, continuing coverage tonight. The arrest of murder suspect Jason Jones was one focus of testimony during the trial today in Dakota County Court. KTV's Katie Koppel breaks down today's testimony from inside the courthouse. SWAT officers who arrested Jason Jones in the early morning hours of August 5th, 2022, detailed the more than three hours they spent surrounding his home in Laurel, Nebraska, just 24 hours after four people were found murdered. Receipts for items used in the murders of Michelle Ebeling and Jean, Janet and Dana Twyford and the fires set to their homes helped lead authorities to Jason Jones. But it was a gun investigators found on the floor of the Twyford home that was registered to Jones that helped them get an arrest warrant for Jones and a search warrant for his home, which was across the street from one of the crime scenes. The receipts, the video um, and the picture, we were able to identify Jason Jones and then the E-Trace coming back to Jason Jones and the address of 206 Elm. For over three hours, SWAT officers with Nebraska State Patrol surrounded the Jones home using an intercom to encourage him to exit the residence. Nearly two dozen unanswered phone calls were made and four unanswered texts were sent to Jones. His wife, Carrie Jones, who was not in the home, was communicating with negotiators. Jones' defense says Carrie Jones told officers Jason Jones was in a first floor bedroom and badly burned. Yet, they say officers still deployed chemical gas to get him to exit the residence. At 412, did you agree that Trey Jones was interviewed a second time and advised that Jason Jones was in bed having a hard time moving around due to the burns on his body? Yes, sir. It does say that uh, he was in bed having a hard time moving around due to burns on his body. And then eight minutes later, you had the team deploy more gas? Yes. At 516 the morning of August 5th, SWAT officers entered the home and located Jones in the first floor bedroom. Body camera video played for the court showed Jones lying in bed, naked except for a black zip up sweater, large bright red burns covering most of his limbs and hands. Jones, who was conscious, was carried out by officers on a canvas stretcher, then treated by EMS. He was taken to a hospital in Wayne and flown to a burn unit in Lincoln, where he remained for weeks. An investigator assigned to collect his DNA and fingerprints said his left hand was so badly burned she couldn't complete the assignment. My intention, of course, through the court order was to obtain uh, fingerprints from both hands, but uh, the left hand was uh, unable to be printed that day. Jones remains absent from trial after he requested to not appear due to ongoing issues with those burn injuries. At the Dakota County Courthouse in Dakota City, Nebraska, Katie Koppel, KTIV News 4. The jury also heard testimony from lab technicians who tested much of the evidence collected at the crime scenes. Testimony will resume Friday at 9 a.m. in Dakota County District Court.